We've all heard at some point products such as Goicochea, Venestat, and Veridux that are used to treat varicose veins. But what exactly do these products contain? How does it treat the disease? And is it effective? It all comes down to Aesin. Aesin is a molecule obtained from the seed of Aeschylus hippocastinum, also known as horse chestnut. Horse chestnut is a large tree native to a small area in the Pindus Mountain Mixed Forest in the Balkan Mixed Forest of Southeast Europe, but it can also be found in Asia and North America. The horse chestnut has a grand variety of secondary metabolites, such as flavonoids, tannins, coumarine glycoside like ascalin, which is the molecule responsible for the toxicity of this plant, and saponins, such as aesin. Now, back to the topic at hand. How does aesin treat varicose veins? To answer this, first we must understand how varicose veins are formed. Normally, veins carry blood to the heart for their oxygenation using the pressure that the arteries exert on their walls, pressure that is caused by the heart's pumping. However, since the blood in the legs that is being transferred is going against the gravitational pull, the veins have gates that retain the blood that has started to ascend, preventing them from returning. In varicose veins, these gates don't function, and so the blood piles in the lower limbs causing the pressure to increase dangerously. The pain and swelling is due to a mechanism in which cells and chemical compounds, known as the mediators of inflammation, intervene. A quick and simple study of this mechanism will reveal ASN's action. Everything begins with the release of histamine and prostaglandins by inflammatory tissue cells. This occurs when the body detects foreign components that may be harmful. These molecules travel to the cells lining the veins and arteries, forcing them to separate, a phenomenon known as vasodilation. Since the cells in these vessels are more separated from each other, various components of the cells can travel outside, as they have no barrier to prevent their departure. These components include cells that under normal conditions help to destroy the foreign components that were detected previously and initiated the inflammation mechanism. These cells damage nearby tissues by releasing other molecules that activate pain receptors or nocitabine receptors. ASNs, according to a study carried out in 2001, prevents the cellular synthesis of the molecules that cause dilatation and inflammation such as prostaglandins and histamines, and thus preventing the activation of noci receptors and decreasing the symptoms. Side effects of the treatment with ASN include gastrointestinal irritation, nausea or dizziness, stomach upset, itching and burning or feeling of heat, in cases in which a high dose was used, there were patients of acute renal failure. In addition to this, horse chestnut's ability to reduce blood coagulation or clotting indicates that it should not be given to those with bleeding disorders or who are taking anticoagulant drugs. It is known to add to the action of such blood thinning drugs as warfarin or aspirin. It is also not recommended for women in pregnancy or breastfeeding, diabetics, and those that have a liver or kidney-related disease. The use of ASN is still in the clinical trial stage and so has no clinical application, but it is present in numerous natural products. Remember, when deciding to purchase any of these products, you must check if they have an Envima registration number and verify them on the official Envima page.